All right, come on, let's do it. My first 24 hours of recovery was hell. I wasn't able to walk too good. I wasn't as strong, sleeping upright. But today, me and Khalil back to see Dr. Polster to make sure everything's on track. Sweet, you look like a million dollars. How are you like doing? It. Well, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking it a little bit at a time. And if he said it was a success, I got to go on his word, because he's been honest from the first day I met him. And I wanted to go over the x-rays with you real quick. I'll blow it up a little bit. And we got the little uh, dots here of the screws and the plate that are in there. All right. Well, we had planned the case really well based on the imaging studies. But once we got in there, it was much worse than we anticipated. We're sort of forward like this. Yeah. Because the space that was inside of the disc here was so much less. He's a big guy, so he has a lot of big muscles. So we had to take a little bit more time because of the depth and sort of how stiff everything was in front of uh, in front of his spine. How's your arm doing? How does this feel? It feel different, like good. Fifty. I got to give it fifty percent of the pain. Already better. Yeah. I can't actually remember the last time my arm felt this good. It's so much better now that I have to say the surgery was worth it. Typically, I see people back in, you know, two to four weeks. I know I still have a long road to recovery ahead of me, and it'll be at least a month before I get back to work and back to the dogs. But I still feel great about this surgery. I still feel like it was worth having. <laughs> All right, my man. OK, just dial. Appreciate it, Good for you. You're very welcome. Well. Thanks for the trust. Now that this surgery is done, it's going to be less pain. Because I'm happy. It's good. <laughs> It makes me feel damn good, man.